Hello, 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 friends. We are back once again. Today, we're an entire colony of dwarves all at once. Playing a game called Hammer Ting. As a big fan of Rimworld and uh, a game called Craft the World. Hammer Team seems like a very interesting idea. Um, kind of a blending of the two. Partially. A little bit a little bit of grand strategy tossed in there as well. So uh, that's just my take based on like the the trailers and whatnot that I've seen. I haven't ever actually played Hammer Ting. So today's gonna be a first experience. What do we got here? Oh well, there's part of our uh you know. Part of our um whole thing there. Uh Rimworld influence, as it were. Let's see. So enemy default. Yeah, we'll just leave it at default. I'm good. I don't need double damage, double health, giant, massive sadness makers. Let's see. Somewhere in the Mara Mountain Range, in the cold and foreboding peak of Mount Kraz Tharum, a colony of dwarves prepares to establish itself in a place otherwise long abandoned by their kind. Support the League of Methis in this great war on the overworld and unravel the mysteries of a mountain varying with each playthrough. Nice. <laughs> I don't quite have 8,000 hours in Rimworld, but uh, somewhere to the tune of about 2,500, so clearly casual at best. I actually haven't been able to get the newest expansion for that, and oh man, I've been really jonesing for that. <laughs> all in due time, though, all in due time. Let's see. Um. Oh, can we just... Uh, I'm gonna call this Ornasium. Excuse me? Well, cool. cool. there we go. Mountain name. Anger Forge. Actually, this is going to be Anger Forge inside Anger Forge Mountain. Delightful. There we go. Let's get after it. Welcome to the mountain. You control a colony of dwarves aiming to establish themselves in the mountain and to support their faction in the great war raging on the overworld. To do this, you must dig, mine, build, and craft. Build a quarry and explore until you amass sufficient mountain lore to acquire the knowledge of metallurgy. Construct a small foundry, continue to trade, explore, and acquire new knowledge for further progress. Oh. Well, if that's all, allow me. This is the top bar. Amazing. Uh, where you can see the status of your mountain home. Okay. Use these buttons to reach the overworld map. Research new technologies. Okay. So, knowledge. Log. Mountain home ledger, job broker, recruit dwarves, overworld trade. Okay. Uh, or manage your mountain home. Okay. Okay. In this area, you can see how much coin, lore, and dwarves you have. Okay. The right top bar displays time related information. Okay. Use the speed control to pause, resume, or speed up the game. This is the current date in the game. Here you can find the buttons to the book of things. Book of tings. Haha. <laughs> Got them. Uh, where you can learn more about the game and access the main menu. Down here you'll find the action menu. From this menu you can make orders for your dwarves. If you want a specific dwarf to carry out an order, left click on the dwarf before issuing an order. Uh, use the infrastructure and room section to expand your base. They will bring you more operations as you research. Finally we get to the outliner, which lists your dwarves, rooms, missions, and alerts. Ah... Uh, 
Go forth. The sound of footsteps approaches from the entrance. Your adventure is about to start. Expand your mountain home and help your allies in the overworld. Early cave missions found in the outlier are a great way to learn the game. May your riches ever be bountiful. Good luck. I feel like I'm playing uh, some kind of, uh, let's see, like Katniss Everdeen Hunger Games type business. Okay, so that's a lot of... Oh, wow. Very, very nice. This is the character window. Not only does it show info about the selected dwarf, but you can also issue specific orders. Move to your, move to or attack uh, this dwarf whenever it is open. From here, you can see the dwarf's level, experience, and name. The name can be changed by either pressing the name or the quill icon to the left. Uh, dwarf's portrait, where you can see the current actions. Uh, in the top right corner on the bottom, you'll find tools. The selected dwarf. Uh, these tools define what tasks the dwarf can perform. Okay. Little button in the bottom left corner of each tool shows whether auto equip is enabled. You can left click the button to assign or toggle auto equip or hover to open a small menus uh, to specify how the auto equip should behave. Ooh, okay. That's actually very interesting. I like the idea of that. The conditions tab is the most important tab to keep track of. It shows the dwarves' health and desires, which are pillars of the dwarves' well being. Okay. Health replenishes with healing items, such as gauzes or medicine. Morale requires drinks, although water is acceptable. Proper beer is what a dwarf really longs for, and food to satiate hunger. Energy will be restored as the dwarf gets to sleep. In order to get proper sleep, a dwarf will need a dwelling with their own bed to sleep in. Kind of, kind of picky, aren't they? In order to keep greed in check, the dwarves will take some money from your treasury as payment for their labor. But they will soon need a dwelling to store their hard-earned coin, or greed will drop. Okay. Uh, these are the dwarf attributes. Uh, they will grant bonuses to specific tasks and increase certain stats. Found in the stats panel. The attributes will automatically increase according to the dwarf's best job whenever they level up. Uh, these are talents, equipment, and relation tabs. Use these to specialize your dwarf or oversee how they're perceived by the rest of the mountain home. Uh, the top professions tab lists selected dwarf's best professions top to bottom. You can use this menu to enable, disable, or favorite jobs for the dwarf. Stats tab shows the dwarf's general stats. They can be increased with attributes and talents. Take note that the environments might change the values or speed or vision range. Uh, this panel shows the inventory of the dwarf, although they have 12 slots, they cannot fill out all the slots if the items carried are too heavy. The dwarf can only carry up to one silver coin or 100 copper coins, and will suffer loss of greed if they cannot store their wealth in a dwelling. Okay. Well, just, you, you just hold on there. We got, we got some reading to do. Alright. Uh, straight grandfather's copper hatchet axe. That's quite the name. <laughs> Hold control for a detailed tooltip. Oh my god, yes. I love this. All right. So that's a level 11 axe. Level 11 item determines the difficulty of using the item in further crafting. Okay. The way that that light is rendering is very strange and kind of distracting. Anyways, preciousness. Preciousness influences several profession tool skills. Usually positively, it increases the speed of weapons. Ooh. That's weird and illogical. I don't like it. Weight decreases the speed of both weapons and tools, increases the crushing damage of weapons, and can influence profession tool skills. Why not have just a like an intended weight level. Obviously, you have modifiers to the weapon, right? Where you can add or remove weight. So why not just have a baseline and then have the speed based off the baseline weight so that lighter weapons are faster, heavier weapons are slower? Seems good to me. Preciousness should affect the value of an item, not, not the speed. <laughs> I just don't understand that. Anyway, uh, combat production determines how much damage a dwarf will deal with each strike. Okay, 3.69. Not bad, not bad. All right, and that all just gets kind of plopped on down to these base few. All right. 
Okay, so this is showing profession values and kind of uh, for each person how many dwarves are allowed to do it, how many have favored it. Okay, so top professions. These are the things that it is best at. Which apparently hauling? I'm guessing it's because it has decent fervor and robustness then? Yeah, apparently this is not something that you generally have a bunch of. Uh, let's just stick with the, the mining and such. Yeah? Uh, let's go blacksmith. What's a whitesmith? Oh, interesting. Jewelers, artisans, accomplished whitesmiths are the noblest artificers known to dwarf. Working with only the finest rare materials and gems to forge powerful artifacts, weapons, and armor for the defense and advancement of the mountain home. Okay. So, blacksmith is... Like a, like a tool tradesman who basically they're like the backbone crafter and then these guys are the ones that just sit up there and they're like high society crafters interesting so this guy's driven plus two robustness one fervor huge energy Jeez. okay hypochondriac so he's very sad about life got it you there fellow Who are you uh We'll give you explorer because reasons yeah you can have cook all or not so much bud I'm trying to kind of figure out which ones are which ooh yeah let's bring Taylor in the mix nope nope Okay, so we've got we got a couple of people all figured out. We're gonna keep trying to kind of figure out who's doing what here. Oh, he's an idiot. Excellent. I always need an idiot. Someone's gotta be able to take the blame there. Okay. So traitor, huh? A traitor healer. Was it Arcanist? No. Metallurgist. There we go. So these are their favorites. He has a 10% chance... Increased chance for critical failures in the profession. Dang. Wow, this guy is... You know, you might just get... You, my friend, might just end up catching the hands, bud. Like, I don't... Ooh. Ooh. You might just be a hauler, bud. I don't know if I can put you anywhere. Oh my god. Okay. The great entrance. Uh, no, I don't need any of that. Landscaping. Bricks, background, or bricks. I can... Okay. So there's a foreground and a background layer. To be done with. Stone chest, small scaffolding, stairs. So that's landscaping. Move to Okay, so this is a quarry. Very interesting. So it's like, so the foreground layer, oh man, I 
Okay, so I have to shift click to do this. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. This is very neat. I like the, the concept here, honestly. Okay, so now we need... Need some things. I already got the UI for the top bar. Thank you. Okay, so now this guy's over here building this. Okay, <clears throat> this is the crafting menu. From here you can start to produce various items. This panel shows how much health the building currently possesses, as well as what priority the building has. Okay. By selecting a recipe from the recipe list, you'll be able to see what materials are required to craft the selected item. Okay. You can left-click the requirements to change the input material. For example, you can change the generic ingot to a specific copper ingot. If you leave the input unselected, the dwarves will choose what material will be used themselves. When you've chosen what first speed desired to craft, etc., etc., I, I get it. Understood. Understood. Okay. Let's try and maintain like 10. 10 granite chunk in the old mountain home here. Okay, so now we can make crushed granite, block of granite, and granite pillar. Very good, very good, very good. Hmm, we can rummage through all this garbage. All this. So what all can we build now? Small quarry. Stone chest. Uh... Let's put a couple of stone chests here, shall we? Oh! Wait, what? What have I done? Oh. Oops. Interesting, so you can kind of get them. Get them going. Let's see. Uh, first contact has begun. Not Gnome has a new mission. Let's not tarry in the completion of this important mission. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, Dawnlit Caverns discovered. Unique characteristics are nothing. Okay. Yeah, I know we need I know we need vaults, bud. Let's get all of this going on.
Alright, so we got some people with levels here. You have received level ups, which are so your deafness has increased. Why? So it would appear that hauling and exploration are really the, the key moments for this guy. That's what they're doing. Anyways, let's see. Talents. Uh, power of observation, which leads into some of this other business here. Okay. Uh, awareness plus three. Go with that. There you go. You're all the better now. Oh, so for Dwarf of Mara, I need this, but that requires subterranean farming. It says to get the power of observation. Don't get that. Seems good. Ain Grovelin. Let's see. Well, let's get you with this there, bud. Uh, Miner plus two, Trader plus two, Militia three, Fervor two. this one there we go go icebreaker i don't know oh favorite match this talent is good match for one of the dwarves favorited professions ah i see you okay so we need power of observation and then we go forge mind okay you there Power of Observation. And, uh... Go from there. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Hmm. Let's see. Mining. Drag to select an area. Two types of tiles are going to be mined out. Foreground material tiles, background content tiles. Mining out the former will create paths and spaces for doors to traverse and use. Mining out the latter will give you resources like coal and copper and use in building and crafting. Okay. Sure thing, bud. Recruit dwarves. Oh. So we can hire some more. Let's see, Omen, Orgeborn. I like you. Brave of Heart and Refugnik. Re <laughs> this dwarf is a Refugnik, a refugee from another hold fallen to some terrible calamity. Ooh. Rough, bud. Rough. Great Snouted and Clumpfoot. Okay. We'll pull you, why not? Sure, let's get a couple more dwarves in here. 
now then. Um, knowledge. Let's see. Metallurgy. Foundational structures and subterranean farming. All of these sound fantastic. Now. Old. We can make fertile soil. A brick wall door. Stone stairways. Hand pumps. Okay, so we can do some pretty neat little things here. Got a small foundry. That's a small foundry? Are you serious? Look, I don't know. Let's see. Where should I stick my foundry? So... Get a, a few nice stairs here, yeah? Okay, so I need granite slab. Try and keep ten there. That's fine. Oh, are these are they having a conversation? <laughs> oh, conversation. Um. Hauling, tailoring, exploration. I look at you with a 14. You're the brave of heart one. Hold on. Let's get like... So they're better at, at fighting. One would think. They also love to be a tailor. A bit of an explorer. I'll do that. You there. Uh, what are you? Yes, I want you to be the arcanist healer. And metallurgist. Delightful friend. Delightful. Welcome to the crew. So only one person can be in here at a time. Okay, okay. Well, as long as we can kind of keep that rolling all the way. So getting used to this will take a little bit here, but... Oh, that's perfect. We can put our foundry up here. Excellent. Rummage through all this garbage. Oh! Gracious. I don't... Oh, oh. boys get that killer plant show who's boss <laughs> a 
That's what you get, scum. Uh, let's see. Ton cap mushrooms. Budding blue caps stolen away amongst rocky crevices under the mountain are a sight dear to any dwarf with a sense of culinary appreciation. Movement. Dwarves and the creatures they encounter can traverse their surroundings in a variety of ways. If a dwarf is stuck deep in the cave or is seemingly refusing to complete a task, may very well be that they are unable to find a safe path. Here is the dwarves' complete movement set. Note that a bit of headroom is always required. Running on terrain and scaling single blocks is the bread and butter of getting about. Very good, very good. Thank you. Research bot. Mission started. Under attack. Yeah, I, I told them to be under attack. It's fine. Ooh, there's a sword there on the ground. Oh, wow. Okay. There's a whole bunch of copper here. Why, hello. Uh, let's get these slabs up here. We need slabs and blocks. Then chunks. Then probably pillars and then crushed. So we need to construct a large vault. What about a small vault? Hmm, what about that? Three mountain lore for completing a mission. Aha! The first round of stairs is complete. And the second. Delightful. Keep it coming. Excellent. Ingalil. There is. Excuse me. Wish to click on you. Who's our good stonemason? I just disallowed all the rest of them. And then what if I went to everybody else and said, no, you cannot be a stonemason. What if I just went to everyone and disallowed all the jobs that are not their selected professions? Besides, of course, being a hauler. Curious about how this uh, get rid of this, get rid of this, this. It's 
some gotar. Ah. So I don't have complex stone mason. Do I have the ability to acquire complex stone mason? Ah, there it is. Requires formalized learning, dwarven trade relations, which requires trade lore. Most all of these either require more lore than I have, or something similar to this. Okay. So oh, we're gonna hold for a bit. Getting a bit more here. You can get some bonuses. That's traitor. We don't need that necessarily. Uh, let's see. Forge mine. So, power of observation is required for basically everything. Okay. Uh, we'll also make you the farmer. That's fine. Pain. Need power of observation. Okay. Irsa needs other things. Why do they need Master of Minds? Oh, Explorer plus two. Okay. Beast of Burden. Oh my goodness. Well then. Rock solid, huh? Stonemason plus three. I very much so like the idea of very um, utilitarian built individual. But also specialists, because specialists are great. What is it that you're good at? Oh, you're the driven one. Sure, we'll stick you there in building. Good, good, good. Uh, let's see. From the start, the mountain home can hold a bit of coin, but to hold it safe from rats and theft, vaults will be needed. Once the mountain home or... Existing vaults start to fill up, a warning will be issued so you can start building more. Okay. Yes, I know. I'm I'm out of a vault. No. Let's get the uh let's get the triple time going. Tink 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 tink. Get to work. Get to work, scum. Yes. Craft. Until we have ten of them. Away, you beasts. Uh, 
Uh, fuel is coal, charcoal, and lava. Well, then. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Let's not, shall we? Hey. All right. So everybody needs militia skill. At the very least. Yeah. Irsa's has got it. Kane, you need it. Uh, you need Gotar. You need and you do. Okay, everybody's got it. All right, cool. Oh, now that we got all this, <clears throat> we can finally start making progress. Ooh, Irsa's got a level. Irsa can get... Not that yet. Could pick up Dwarf of Mara. Might as well. Wow. That's a lot of space there, bud. That's a whole lot of space. Hey, we got it. Small vault git. Let's uh, throw a cave farm in here. Somewhere. Um, how's about right in the this region wow she she did Pierce got all of that done dang All this is done. Welcome to the overworld. This is a world inhabited by other people than just dwarves. From kingdoms of humans to orcish war tribes surrounds your mountain home, trying each day to expand their reaches. Trade wares or fulfill missions in order to improve your reputation with these factions. Starting off with the interface, the top bar remains the same as in the mountain home. Okay. Take note that the game won't pause automatically when you open the overworld. This can be changed in the options. The outliner now looks slightly different, now showing contents relating to the overworld. Delightful. Is your mountain home and your forge watching the world from its high perch? From here you command your dwarves and change the world with your influence. Over here lies the town known as Norrington. Leave a good impression by trading with them to earn trade lore and explore new locations. This is the location window for Norrington. Here you can buy and sell wares or pick up missions. This area details the specific location. Here you can see the location's health, fortification, or trade level of the location. Each location is a part of a larger faction. Norrington in particular is part of the Kingdom of Deadwoods. In this area you can find statistics about the faction. Manpower and might are shared with all locations under the same banner. Whenever they've amassed enough resources, the factions will send out armies to combat their foes. The notice board will list current events that are transpiring within the location. This area here lists either what you can buy from this location or what you can sell or what missions are available. Whenever you buy or sell items of the location, you can see in this area what items are currently being traded. Uh, go beyond the world awaits. It's time for you and your entourage of fellow dwarves to spread the good word of your colony. Make allies or enemies and venture beyond the halls of stone for glory and riches. For stone and steel, let the world know the dwarves of Angerford. Okay, thanks. Very nice. Uh... Right, um... 
They have a high demand for pillars. Okay. I will sell them ten pillars. Oh. Sure, we'll get all the tier one upgrades. So, Irsa, yep, Irsa's our explorer. Delightful. And then. Ingalil is also an explorer. There you go, bud. To the mountain home. We've done it. We've gotten a little bit of extra knowledge here. Okay, so F1 pops back and forth. Mission, acquire one trade level. Increase the indicated value to complete the mission. Increase the quality of our trade contacts with this location by buying and selling goods will award us trade lore. Over new lands beyond. Okay. Okay, so we built some things here. This is good. Let's see. Let's buy a couple of these. Oh, wait, oh, do we not have... Oh, we don't have a trader, so we're not... Uh, I guess we'll make you the trader also. There, bud. Get him, Gotar. There we go. So, Kane is just over there being idle. Okay, so they want a simple lantern. I don't think we have that yet. Okay, so that's one of the two we need. I mean, I need... Oh, there we go. You there, what do you have? Bone ash. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure, bud. I don't know where we get all this, but, uh, sure, why not? Excellent. Knowledge of cooking, absolutely essential. Now we can get trade relations, beautiful. 
Which mission? Roar of the Furnace began. Due to the recent developments, Mountain Home has new mission, Roar of the Furnace. Let's not carry in the completion of this important mission. But what is the mission exactly? Have Let's see. Oh, okay. So... Okay. You can uh, put automatic tools on different people so that it only does what it's supposed to do. Got it. Oh, so that's a one block high area Something to note. Okay. Um, geez, so much needed here. Uh, let's, oh my gosh. Let's get a cookhouse going on here, shall we? And then what we can do is we can get a nice stretch of brick here, coming all the way across. Okay. Then we'll get a couple of dwellings put up here. One there. And then we'll go one here. And then we'll just kind of rinse and repeat this. Huh. Okay. Uh, we landscape it over, get all this right over to here. Sweet kappa out of here before we go doing things. Man, they put their hands on those, uh, well, slime guys there. Cows. Excellent, bud. Let's do that. Gonna get whoever's gonna be our cook 
in there doing cook things. Uh, do we have... We got a cook in here somewhere, right? Yeah. That's, uh... Chaudils. I don't know. I tried. I tried. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. So you can you can set these Custom things here. I like this. I'm busy. I'm doing things. Leave me alone. Buildings are under attack. Okay. Get them, boys. Get them. Don't let them break our stuff. Whew. All right. Well, that was something. Uh, let's. The hand pump. We'll stick the hand pump. Uh... Right there, I guess. Oh, what's that down there? So that's for that person. So that's for her. For Earson. Good. Or Irsa. Look at that. Look at that stonemasonry level. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Good job. Crab shell, sea algae, flower, mushroom. Okay. Um, let's tear down this. Okay. So that'll put, it looks like it automatically assigns a lower priority to those so that those get done later. Which that's pretty darn cool.
Okay. Now we need even more dwellings. There we go. Put a brick over here as well. Uh, let's get... stuff dealt with real quick but also let's get some scaffolds built oh uh like right here okay uh we'll get a little scaffolding built there and over here that should be more than enough to get everything completed how we want i like how there's this foreground background layer thing and you can move between them to put up like scaffolding in the foreground while the background has uh your buildings and stuff so you can actually get everything done it's really nice So, seeing that I can add bricks in the background, how does this look? If I go up my stairs with it. cave farm over here, shall we? Yeah, we shall. A little cave farm over here. Now, put a little brick wall door over here, because I'd like for my people to be fine and dandy. Do that. Some scaffold stair going on here. So that they can build that. Uh... Okay, so you can have this one, Gothar, you can have this one, and Ingalil, you can have this one. Nice. All right, cool. So pretty much everybody is where they need to be. Oh, wait, we already have a cave farm. What? This is the cave farm? Oh, this is the cookhouse. Oh, no, the cave farm is right next to it. The water and the bone ash. Okay, so... Need to tear this down. That's of no major use. Okay, all the all the building stuff is priority right now. Oh, uh Let's get that one little thing knocked out of there so that they can I was doing something. Also, uh That's a fat rat. Kill that thing. Eat it. Do not allow it to murder our goods. My god. 
What a rat. Sly fox. Foxes are traditionally considered a sign of good luck among dwarven kind. This good omen of the overworld must have snuck in through the entrance somehow. Okay, well. So be it. Oh, so we can add... Oh, we can add upgrades to all the... Well... Why not? Absolutely. Let's get let's get some some sweet upgrades in here, man. All right. Upgrades for all of our friends. Harvest that toncap mushroom. Um Uh, let's see. This is for holding goods and stuff. Like, just general goods. Um, it does need space, which is weird. Uh, let's drop the craft on that. Then, I guess I can just add a stone chest every so often around here. Okay, get some bricks in there. It's inter so it, it doesn't have any checked for anything like, um, physics teams uh, let's get small scaffolding set up so we can again do the things we need to do get stuff brought down from higher levels all that uh, we need some up here Alright, so this thing now can take goods. Edit filters. Oh. Guess just accept everything in here, bud. Uh, and then you can have everything too. There you go. Very interesting. So maybe we just keep this stuff in there? No quarry produce for this, I guess. And then same for this one, no quarry produce. And then this just holds its own. The amount to be crafted will be measured against all the stored items in the whole mountain home. The production order will remain until manually removed. Okay. So that's what that. Is that a... It's a tone cap mushroom that's coming for us. What the heck? Yeah, I hear you, weird mushroom. What the butt?
Oh, okay. That's right. There's only four there. <laughs> uh, okay. So we canceled this. Uh, maybe we get rid of this one. Well. <laughs> Man's running all over the place. Okay. Uh, we need to buy some. Uh, let's get some. Ooh, we have no money. So we'll sell all that. Sell all this. Um, then. enough to yes we can um huh i'm still a bit confused as to why we have subterranean farming, but the f subterranean farming doesn't actually allow us to farm anything. We have bone ash. But. So. Maybe it requires the fertile soil a bit. Maybe that's what I need to do. And create a large area of fertile soil. What can we do with fertiles? have a farming dwarf? Uh, I don't think I do. Trader, a healer. Oh yeah, you're a farmer. Sorers, growers, and reapers, accomplished farmers are those who mine the rich mines of the soil and the varying organic forms, provide the fecundity for food uh, and fiber upon which the mountain home sub cysts and who cause the roots of dwarven culture to sink deep into the door dark eternal of the mountain okay so cane is not it it's uh ah kill this
So we've got all this, but what? This is very interesting. Restoration, restoring and maintaining buildings and dwarves, such as healing, repairing, healing furnaces, fertilizing farms, bringing them, and restoring them. Okay. So everybody's got this. Job broker, supremely useful. Overworld trade, nice menu. Okay. Well, I'm not entirely sure what we do with this. Let's see, the Woody Sam said well mushrooms are an excellent source of lumber. Well that doesn't help me much. I need an excellent source of not being dead. Preferably. I have So they're making more water. Is there something else I need to do? Give me a, give me a nice tunnel there, bud. so that they can only have their specific tools on. Really trying to understand what exactly they want of me here. So we have cave fishing now. So algae grass. Oh, it's there. We can sow toncat mushroom and algae grass. Okay. Okay. Structure. Drain sink. A drain sink consumes pumped out food. You add some returns them to the map. Sink outputs fluids to all tiles and its footprint indicated with a droplet. Okay. A uh, place to land the cave adapted but edible fish that swim in the cold and long forgotten bodies water flowing under the mountain. So... And I just 
it it wants water underneath or huh. If it does want water, then water I have found. Away, go! You beasts. Oh! They're cooking! Delightful! Pier. Uh, infrastructure, let's get get all this. Excellent. Get out of there, Kane, you doof. What are you doing, bud? <laughs> Kane, what are you doing, bud? You can't breathe water. That's not how that works. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh... But oh, who works this job? You're weird, guy. Heck yeah, dude. Get them fish going. Yes. Fish soup all day. We're good. We be alive, friends. Uh, building under attack. New discovery. What is our new discovery? Uh, that doesn't tell me. So, carrying on. <laughs> Okay, so this is whatever the available fluid is. Okay. Okay, so we've got quite the abundance of copper here. Jeez. So did it ever, it did, it built bricks there, cool. So that means that we can now make a nice brick look to the whole place. I wonder if that means I can put it behind here as well. Ooh, I can. Oh, now we can store this. What are you doing, bud? You know what, fella? Uh... 
Uh... I might die just because he can't function. Okay, you there. Okay. So yeah, he's kind of screwed right now. Uh... Uh, let's see. How can I... work him out of this? Um, uh, is there anything he can do? sad music for this this moment um just have him dig himself a hole I'm not giving up on you, bud. We've discovered a grotto. Okay. survive is strong. Well then, that happened. Thanks, Stream Deck, for muting just when I wanted you to. Amazing. If nothing else, my content is organic. Sneezes and all. Excellent. There we go. Now, we need to build a little scaffold thing here.
What is the thing for this? Plant green rose waving algae in water to feed and nourish the mountain home. All crops need to be planted in fertile soil in order to grow. Harvesting crops can be limited and controlled by building a cave farm. Needs to be planted in water that is at least too deep. Cool. Do that. And we'll get rid of all this. And then we'll uh, add some more scaffold stair there. It'll be fine. And we'll make fertile soil right across here. Excellent. Yeah, I'm aware they can't get to it. It'll be fine. Okay, it'll be fine. Uh, we need some cat mushrooms. Let's see, we've got six there, so seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll just do ten of those at a time. Or maybe we do a little bit more. Hold on. Let's go fifteen. That way there's always a little bit of a surplus. Dude, Kane is still suffering right now. Why is he losing health? Like, what's happening with him that he's... needs to eat and sleep. Health gain, I'll see, hypochondriac and robbed of the fortune. Okay, so he just doesn't have any cashola. He's sad about that. Some bone and some hide, huh? I don't want him to die, but I also don't know how to acquire the HP. I guess I need gauze. All those granite pillars and stuff. Buy all their gauze. Okay. 
Okay. It's Ingalil gets over here with some stuff. And buy some gauze. And a living on a prayer right here. This is tough. Going to eat gauze. Um, he's I think that's how that's supposed to work, bud. Just uh, throwing that one out there. Need three trade lore as well. So, granite pillar seems to be like a consistent thing that they need out, out here. Ooh, copper sheet, though. Jeez. 50 coin each. It'd be really nice if we could set like a trade route. I don't know if that's something that maybe just I haven't done yet. Uh, or unlocked, I should say. There's three of ingot and 50 fuel. Let's see, who's got the wrong tools equipped? Ingalil. Yeah, but that's because you're just doing things, bud. What can I say? What can I say? Uh... Oh, hey, what do you guys need? You guys need blocks of granite. Sure, have fun. Oh, and you guys want water? Cool, I produce tons of that. Uh, deliver three beams, ten blocks of granite. Okay. I should be able to create beams without too much trouble. Hey, his health is actually going kind of up. Let's see. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here we go, friends. We need more trade. That's for darn sure. Ah. So. Three of those. Must be delivered to this location. I mean, I did give like 10 blocks of granite just a second ago, didn't I? Oh, there we go. Mission accepted. 
faraway lands completed. Delivery, simple lantern. Okay. There's two. Okay, do you guys have a simple lantern? They do not. Yuck. So we get seven trade lore for doing that. Can I get one good beam there, guys? Okay, so I need... Much granite fairy beams. I wonder if they will be like delivering that stuff automatically. Like, if I don't set a, a sell order, will they just deliver? He will. Okay, so I don't sell it, I just let them deliver it. Oh my gosh, such a dope. Critters, get them. Okay. Cool. Soon, we should have enough goodies that we'll be able to get the medical experience. And that'll mean that we can finally start to get some healing going on here. Um, what did we do? We did a, we got, we completed a mission. Okay. That was here, yes? No, that was not here. Oh, now it is. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. All right. So, medicine, absolutely. Blacksmithing, like 1,000% gonna be the next thing we do, because, oh boy, do we need it. Hell yeah. Do we ever need it? Um, okay, we'll put bricks up here, and then we'll do. I want to get all this. Oh, your poor legs there, bud. Maybe you don't cut the bricks out from beneath you when you're doing that there, fella. You get little, like, remnants of when you do the thing. Oh my god, Kane, please, bud. Well, Kane is gonna die, I do believe. Never mind, he was healed miraculously. Don't know what it was about, but I'll take it. Uh. Cookhouse, foundry, infirmary. Thank criminy. That we need, right there. Come on boys, load it up. We need that infirmary right now so we can save Kane's life. Don't worry Kane, we got you buddy. Donk, 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 donk. Get it. Get some of this, some of this, some of this. I don't know what we can and can't do. That requires hide. We not have a whole lot of hide going on here. Balm of ooze. 
Well, I know we have lots of ooze. Do we get hide from that, though? Oh, it's a mushroom guy. Get him. Oh. That mushroom shaman dude is not playing around. He wants to put hands on people. Get him, boys. Give him the murder. <laughs> Take that. Control one of 37 overworld locations. Okay. We either have to build a large vault and fill it, or... Uh, take over the world. Hmm, not sure how I feel about either one of those particularly, but, uh, okay, okay, all right. You know, you do, you do, you do as you please. You do as you please. You wish... That we had more um well lots of things to be fair but uh I do wish we had some more I wish I had more brain if it was functional it'd be great Yep, it's gone. It's completely gone. My brain, the thing that I was trying to use, yeah, it's done. It's over with. None of that. We won't be hearing from that thing again. And confirm. I am a bit interested in how... Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. So it doesn't automatically set these. Like, these are all... Here, but it's not harvesting the tone cap mushrooms. I don't understand. Why don't they... Okay. Oh, the Slime King, huh? That seems good. Uh... Right. Let's cancel all this. Now then. 
move the scaffold stair here. Oh, whoops. Scaffold stair. Okay. There we go. So we seem to be sustaining now. Good job, Kane. You did it, bud. Our buildings are under attack. Okay, well... I don't know that I need this building. Ooh. Family portraits. Ah. Oh no. But really gonna dig himself into a hole. Well, oh no, they can climb the wall. Haha, <laughs> excellent. This just gives them a safer, nicer way to get down there. Okay, so. Excellent. Um, now oh, that will that will actually set them down the hard way. Uh, boy, oh boy. If I go down here. The best I can do is get some like citadel mushrooms and things. Is there anything of any actual value down there though? That's the question. So formalized learning gives the arcane workshop educated populace. Gives a plus two sovereignty. Sovereignty gives us more dwarves. Dwarven map, secret of map, finally drawn with strange mysterious symbols showing to those with eyes to see the hidden paths and deeper tunnels through the mountain. Uh, skins of animals prepared to carry new meanings, yearning to feel the touch of pen. Taste of okay, that's, that's, that's totally fine. Not weird at all. All right. Um, let's see what we can do with all this. slime wow he hopped that real easy okay so that thing's super dangerous little ruby crab not super dangerous Okay. Good job, boys. Good job. A sword and a stone, eh? Gleaming weapon with radi radiant with power. Rust into stone by some unknown something or other. Rummage the treasure hoard. Oh my gosh. Rummage, 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 rummage. Don't mind us. Oh, 
Um... So this one is stonemason, this one's militia. Okay, and that's for Irsa. Kane. For miner specifically, militia. And then he needs builder on that one, sure. Uh, Tildis. Okay, so cook. Militia. And then nothing, it says. But what about like Farmer, Explorer, Tailor? Any of those? Or just leave the third one open? Maybe I do that for a lot of these. Interesting. These seem to be like specific slots for specific things, right? Because that's for the militia, that's for the metallurgy. So, whatever their third slot is. We'll just kind of set it to whatever the other two are not, which that's Militia and Stonemason for them. Gotar needs... Ah, he's already got his. Ingalil has... There's the Explorer. There's Militia. And then this is anything but Explorer and Militia. Hey, we're starting to make dollars here. Look at us. This is Grave Poppy. A bright red flower infused with the living blood of a fallen dwarven hero and harvested from his resting place. Uh, but why do we need those? That's the big question on my mind. Someone will do it. Okay, so somebody went there. Revealed to us that there is a whole lot of nothing right there. Um, dig that out, I guess. Discovery get. Um, and stuff. Formalized learning, though, I think is going to be the better because we have, um, well, but simply we can now get two new dwarves. Raised by wolves, okay. Coward, clump foot. Yikes. Free spirit, okay. Fervor with lower morale gain. Omen, wisdom with lower greed and morale gain. Great snout, clump foot. Okay. Uh. Odney. Leave my doors alone. Get out of here. Alright, so... Hmm. Well, let's go militia. 
Um, yeah, blacksmith. Let's go for a whitesmith. And, uh, holler. So. Go with that. Seems good. Okay, so. They want that for stonemason. Why stonemason, though? Stone Mason's not even one of your jobs, bud. You are Militia, Whitesmith, Aller. Um That's good. So, we'll call her there, Alicia there, White Smith here. Cool. Um, yeah, you, you are awareness and deafness. So, kind of got a thing for farming. Why not? Farmer, builder, maybe stonemason? I don't know. Cook? Oh, blacksmith, whitesmith. Uh, blacksmith. Yeah, sure. Uh, and of course, hauling. I would love to have a place where I have one person in each role that's just specialized. All they do is that one role. This would be the way. Hey, cool. of this area is. Also, I'm curious what's up. I wonder if I can just... I mean, why continue to wonder? Let's just build scaffold stairs until we cannot build scaffold stairs anymore. Let us ascend! Let's see what is up. Maybe they are actually, like, automatically harvesting the stuff. Bleeding atrium. Hold up. The temperate average between the cold of the mountain and the blasting heat of brimstone vapors seeping up from deep magnetic stores. Or magmatic stores. Reading. If left undisturbed for centuries, the precious life cycle of the Emperor Agaric begins. The Emperor, once grown to terrible size and having carved in its growth convulsions, 
a cavernous atrium around itself begins to exude a strange green ooze, taking amorphous forms as forms as psychically dominated retainers of the mushroom. Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna take this place down. We're good. Hey, you want some? <laughs> oh, I forgot to set them as a uh, mission. We are under attack. Oh, we did it. We killed the atrium thing. Excellent. That is all iron ore there. Magnificent. Craft jelly cake and aspic. Oh, beekeeping gives us honey. Okay. Common heritage. What is this? Tolerance of other can clans and more sovereignty. Okay, okay. Uh, but trade records, advanced casting. Foundry where streams of molten metal are cast in new forms. The intense heat only achievable in larger foundries is required to smelt several rarer metals. You can get machine parts and other things through that. Oh man, tough. Quarry, a mine to mine the mountain and to hew from its stones upon which the home is built. The organization and scale of a larger quarry is required for several masonry craft. Stone bridge, mortar, square chisel head, stone mason's chisel. Let's start with blacksmithing, shall we? Um, let's go for woodworking techniques. And we're going to call it good there for the moment. Get... Oh. Well, this is very nice. Let's put the thing over there. Lumber and a simple lantern, hey? So, citadel mushrooms. Okay, okay. Some citadel mushrooms over there. Small smithy. Put one of those there. Get bricks put up. All the way across. Excellent. And the arcane workshop. Ooh. Very fancy. Um. No, well, mayhaps we. Do the thing again here and uh, carry ourselves ever upwards. Bricks going all the way. Get a whole new layer of bricks up there. Excellent. Keep after it there, boys. Believe in you. We are under attack. Well, not for pretty blasted long. Absolutely smeared them.
Okay, what are we looking at? Uh, we've got 120 there. So there's that. We could really store quite a bit. Um, so being too greedy with things is not a good idea. Ooh, look at us. So we can make a butcher's axe, woodsman's axe, simple lanterns, miner's pickaxe. Uh, what is the storage? Okay. Be fair. All right. Let me just make one of each. Just maintain one of each. I don't need excess. Just keep one of each thing on hand at all times. We don't need... We don't need insanity. We just need a, a, a fair bit of goodies here. So let's see. Hmm. I'm not sure the use of those. It'd be much more useful if those had like, a bit more punch to them. curved handle here. Yeah. Oh. So it's just a handy little bridge to put up there. Oh, always nice. Yes, I am busy at the moment. Trying to schedule more work. I think I'm reaching about the pinnacle of what's allowed. Good job, fellows. Uh, let's see. Acquire 30 mountain lore. Construct a dwelling. Assign one dwarves to a dwelling. Already done this. Why would I need to do it again? Well, to be fair. They do want me to make um, dwellings for all my dwarves. dwelling over here. Excellent. Get after it, Kane. Look at you, bud. Level 33. Still not as high as Irsa, though. Irsa's a gosh dang monster. It's such a boss. Let's see. Oh. 
Well, whatever that is. Give me more of that. here for purpose of mining and such. Uh, let's get Alright, there we go. Uh, we're almost at that 30 mountain lore. Getting close. It's because it puts construction scaffolding in. Duh. I don't need any of this. Yeah, I forgot that it actually automatically builds construction scaffolding. And so you don't have to worry about it. There you go. I did it. Uh, completed your mission. And then... I made the other part of... The 30 lore and stuff. So that'll be coming soon. Attacking my stuff. You heathens. Okay. Get that out of the way. So once this is done up here, we should be good. Dude, Ursa's really getting on in that. We need complex masonry for sure. That's what's kind of holding her up. A nice follow cam would be fun to have. Yeah. Uh, any missions from either of you? No. What about this? What do you guys have that I could? Anything? Anything you want that I could sell? No. Water, huh? I mean, I guess. Let's see. Uh, trade level two out of three. Oh, five out of six for this one. Uh, sure. Have some granite, bud. So will that get me to level two? It will. So you have to trade with them like six times or whatever in order to get it. Very interesting.
Hmm. Oh, so close. Rid of all this uh, old grandpas and whatever. I'm not giving away trade lore like that. Are you crazy? There ain't no way, bud. Now we're trade level three. Yeah, you guys can have all those pillars. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. They want to sell us gauze and honey. Boom. produce honey and pillars in mass or water and pillars in mass so we're not too terrible worried about it we just keep increasing this trade level though because why not lack of drink I know you guys will be mad about it it's all right Oh, I didn't even realize. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get the upgrade going there and get the milestone here as well. We got missions wise. Moat and beam. Easy. Brave poppy and jelly cake. I don't have those. So. Bite me? It's so weird. Why did it change angle on me? Over here. Okay. Beat them up, boys. Don't beat them up. those are for but whatever up and down oh look knowledge purple complex stonemason what is the major benefit here sack and whatnot seems useful I'm gonna go for the complex stone masonry it opens a lot of stuff for us we don't have rat hide so I guess we just have to get rid of that for now for the other impossible orders yeah, we don't have any of it. Not enough fish. done about all we can with that 
They want us to make algae pancakes. How do I adjust my screen in that section? Uh, zoom in, zoom out. I don't know what's happened, but I've changed my view somehow. I'm not a fan. Ah, there we go. It's the right mouse. The right mouse allows you to... thing. So I'm curious, does this mean that I can no longer... Can no longer get fish then? larger quarry huh? oh is um is that all you uh you don't say what if I just kind of put that up there extended that over a bit Oh, because that pops up just a touch. Uh, okay, so can I just put like a small stone bridge there, cancel this one? A little stone bridge there. Do some brick over to here. Cool. Excellent. Need support beam. Don't know where to make those yet. Can those be made down here? No. Boundary? Negative. There? No. Uh, Hawk axe head. Craft. Stone mason's chisel and... For a chisel bit, let's get that all done. to take it all the way to the top. It 
stack of sacks. Go get them, my dwarves. Show them your power. Rummage through the treasure chest and the fallen hero. And while we're on the subject of building this sweeping um, bit here, might as well expand the bottom as well as the top. Okay, so we have boar bacon brochette and uh, all that completed. Now we just need the algae pancakes. Oh, how delicious. Oh, algae pancakes. Look at that. Oh, where we got those? Ah, flower water. There we go, the newest thing. All the rage. But to Icarus ourselves, to fly too close to the sun. We'll connect all that all the way over. Wow. Absolutely destroyed. Golly. Get it, Kane. Do it, bud. Twenty-seven robustness. What a man. What a guy. Building and mining are his specialties. His chosen paths in life. A goblin yurt. Cruel banner. To steal all their goodies. My stuff now. Ancient dwarven statue. Sovereignty plus one. There we go, there's the peak. There's it all. Gone all the way to the surface. Wow, look at you being level 15 and all that. Oh. Think again, boys. Tough as nails. Born under a sign. 
Yeah. No. Our buildings are under attack. Okay. Thanks for the heads up. I guess. Okay. A lot of metal down there. Gotar has outdated equipment, huh? Gund? Let's see. You are supposed to have. Okay, see a blacksmith there. Let's give builder, farmer, hauler over here. At least I'll take care of them. I do believe. So that's cook. That's militia. So this would be literally everything else. I, I, I feel like you need to put three specializations per character. Maximum. And then you set their three... Uh, tool slots to whatever those are so that they stick strictly to their lane which is partially to say that you should have like two things plus hauling because hauling is always a good thing Getting there. They're almost across. Okay. Hey, they did it. Good job, Kane. We believe in you, bud. We, who are the dwarves, salute you. So this will be fairly slow going, but whatever, we'll get it done. Old trading cart, no problem there. Here. I don't really want to go near that water right now. Seems like a bit of a problem. Sure, we'll accept it. I don't know when we'll get it done, but we'll accept it. Might as well start upgrading all these towns. Start at the closest one. Why can I not select you? Yeah. 
actually. I wonder if you have to have a certain trade level, perhaps? Of these we have we have grandfathers. We we don't want these. but we cannot sell through this trade menu. Gotar is actually a pretty amazing smith. Adequate trade record. This game. I guess we'll go there. Storage. Now this is something that I've been waiting for. Speed! Go! My little dwarflings. I need a thing to do. High priority. Get this done. Oh, whoops. Not it. Didn't do it. Storage. to do then I'm gonna take these and we're just gonna that a feast of boar huh what does this do oh sacred water Craft. I like sacred water. I'll take some. Uh, let's fill this thing right up, shall we? Get absolutely handled upon. Later, Nids. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs>
Good job, Odney. Good job. Uh... Yes, sir. 600 of all? Oh, man. There you go. Let's get rid of this. All that. Go down this. Can I put another another storage over here? Please tell me. Do not have space for one over here. I mean, I could put it like right there, but I have to move my door up and stuff. And that just sounds like work. Just as easily put a second up here. Mayhaps I do. Seems as good of an idea as any. Okay, well. Excellent, yes. Fill my stores with goods. Dude, I love how well the AI handles building all these things and getting to all these places. It's fantastic. You see, now they're going to build up all this scaffolding. I'm going to build up all the scaffolding. I realized that the scaffolding has no uh, surface beyond the first primary beam there. There's no, like, flat board behind it or anything. It's literally just a primary little beam thing. Edit filter, accept all. There we go. What, what in the... So that one will have high priority. And then this one will have normal, and then we'll have a third one with low. Or better yet, we'll have this one on low, and then this one on normal, then we'll have one up here that has high. Because, you know, whatever. Kingdom of Silver joined an alliance. Dendar joined an alliance, bunch of missions. Wow. Bunch of declared war and truce. Oh, how delightful. What were all these little symbols? Woohoo. What be ye doing there, fellers? Deliver ten dwarven liquors. Well, I will try. Only got so much I can do, fellows. Only so much. This going. What can we do now with our knowledge? Grains and milling, which is Mountain barley, spear making, we could do tailoring and garments. Good. 
save for advanced casting? Though I don't know. I guess grains and milling would be good. Maybe common heritage for the additional sovereignty. Tolerance of other clans, etc. Useful things. Alright, so, landscaping. Boom wheat, mountain barley, boom lilac. Okay, so now we have all this. All right, so all of our people are now storing things. All over the place. Which is great. Man, he really hammering that stuff in there, isn't he? Oh yeah. Uh recruiting dwarves do none. Uh yeah, we'll get rid of you. No thanks. We both go away. I don't I don't care. I'm not paying your absurd price, sir. more stone stair. Let's start descending a bit. after it there, Kane. Go, buddy, go. Look at that man just trying his absolute hardest. Get it done. What a boss. little buggers. Look at them go. Uh-oh. Wow. Someone there has got a freaking slapping weapon. The thing is monstrous. Oh, why, hello there. Ancient outhouse, huh? small wooden bridge here and then what can we do we can rummage all this stuff and look at all this absolutely little table thing waiting that and I'll need someone to go over here
boys. Jeez. They are just absolutely crushing right now. Oh, hey, they started producing things. Look at this. We found bone. You love that. spirit supposed to be trading and such they're hard to keep up with though. Huge demand for blocks of granite. Just massive demand for granite pillars. Cave Lacan. Crab broth. Uh, you know what? We'd probably better. Turn the pillars up. Let's, let's jump those up to 40. Same thing with this. Let's jump the granite up to 40, because we can sell those in such bulk. Keep air cell working. Look at her go. Oh, it's fine. She'll just absolutely decimate this. Wow. Okay, bud. Yeah, bud. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we can do some of that. We can do some of that trading for you there. Sell all that down here. Dang, dude, level six. There it goes. So, this requires a guardhouse to be here and a trading post. I'm wondering if you can do like one, two, three, and then something like that. New biome discovered? Where? Oh, another bleeding atrium. Okay. 
one's going to be a little more dangerous than the last one because we're going to have much crap in there to deal with. Including but not limited to water. Water bad. Deleted. Hey, we got 46 silver. Chilling around. We love this. Knowledge. We have this. We could get advanced casting, which would allow us to get machine parts. I think that's the way. Really think that's the way forward here. Boundary is heckin' huge. My gosh. Kind of a heckin' insane place is this. Let's go all the way over to here. We're gonna get all that. Okay. Well, let's get some scaffolding going on up through here. You know what, I'm going to turn up the uh, chunks of granite as well. There we go. Take those up to 40 also. Oh, uh, you guys still want granite and stuff, don't you? There you go. Have some pillars, bud. much in the way of might, but they do have uh, something going on there. Jeez. Really want blocks of granite now. And pillars. Jeez. They are still paying just an exorbitant sum for pillars and stuff.
Uh, let's make sure that we have more um, places for uh, sleepy dwarves. Let's make sure we got more places for sleepy dwarves. Let's see, and there, here, and here. Oh, we can't do that. It's gonna get mad about it. Okay, just take those over to there. Here, and this all the way over there, as far as we can go. Cool, bud. Oh, we found a verdant grotto. Where? <laughs> Do tell. I'd love to find it. I'd love to see it with my own eyes. Hmm? Absolutely love to. Heck yeah, dude. Get that sacred water. I dig it, bud. Oldie bags, huh? Uh, infrastructure, let's get a nice little thing there. this guy. Holy crap. Ingalil, must you go in and just absolutely handle the whole place? I mean, golly. Oh, chlorite. Okay. Let's see, we have foundry, fishing gear, infirmary, small vault storage, small, small smithy, did we make, we did, we did make one of those, it's right here, yes, yes, uh, we can make one of these, Excellent. So, uh, what do we need here? We need three support beams, six iron ingots, and mortar. That's copper. That's copper. Burton coal. Copper. Copper, 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 copper. Uh, we do need this coal. Because... Coal is important. So, let us.
gather all that. Iron. Be sure we get all the iron where we can. Okay, so that's copper, more verdant grotto there. Did this one also have the verdant grotto around it? No, just dawn lit cavern, okay. Stairs, stairs, so many stairs. Oh, broker, what do we have? Jeez. Here says an absolute monster at the stone masonry. Killing it with the exploration too, honestly. Uh everybody seems to be doing well in their crafted provisions. Oh, a rat hole. Well, not enough barrel supply. That's fun. That's a lot of rats. Dang, bud. Hmm. Do I acquire a support beam? Ooh, metal sheet. Iron ingot. Machine parts. Okay. So I wonder if the purpose of the small foundry is invalidated by the presence of the large. Okay, let's get rid of all this. Up. Okay. Ah. Hmm. 
So, Kane is not doing what he is supposed to do. Why is Kane stuck up here? What are you doing, my boy? My, my dude, what are you doing? There we go. Now we got Kane free. Excellent. So by just giving him the bop real quick, we got him out of there. Easy peasy, friends. Easy peasy. Oh, so you can just put stone stairways in front of anything? Alright, well. There's that. I guess we'll just build more storage as needed. Hmm. Uh, let's get more... Oh, and we use crushed granite for this? Oh, wow. Well. My lucky day. Oh, uh, never mind. All of it. <laughs> I don't know what's happened there, but... It'll take it as it is. <laughs> okay, very good. Grab this one across. I think I might do a few layers like this. So that we can how much up here I want to go with this. Like, how far up I want to go. Oh. oh, did we take care of this? Oh, we did! Look at that! Hey! Hmm. 
Oh, the heck is this? Bad Rotto. Or a calcum? Do I do? No. Is it? <gasps> Gasp. Look at that. <laughs> Mother load. Wonder if he can get all of it from right there. Mayhaps. Copper. Garbage. Not really, but, you know, whatever. Whoa! What's this? Oh. Wait, why did Cain die? The heck? Oh, because Cain just fell from all the way up there. And got killed. God bless it. That freaking sucks, dude. Well, that means we just lost our best miner slash what have you. That's a big pain. All right, well, you're in, bud, and uh, you can go away. You are an omen and a gambler. Yuck. I don't like any part of you. But you are a good builder. Okay. Pick up a couple. I'm gonna take that away from her, so it's literally just gonna come down to there's the stone masonry tools, there's the militia, and then this is just gonna be hauler. Like you're not even getting that anymore. Here's a uh, hauling stone mason militia. Uh, all this. Um. Get rid of that. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of Cook, since Militia and all that happens to be the thing. So then, that's Cook, that's Militia, and then this is just going to be Hauler. We're not even doing Taylor for you. Okay. Um... So, I'm gonna get rid of Militia for this guy. And... Arcanist Healer is not gonna be there, so that's gonna be Hauler. And this is gonna be Healer. And then this is gonna be just Metallurgist. I do believe. Let's get rid of Arcanist too. Let's just go healer. Holler, healer, metallurgist. Uh, that's Gotar. And our next one is going to be you. Explorer is pretty good for this dude, but Holler and Trader, so much better. So, this, we're not giving you this. You're going to have Trader there. Militia, and then Hauler. You cannot be a whitesmith, Gunda. But do I care? Not particularly. Not yet. You there, Hauler, blacksmith, builder, farmer. So, Builder, Militia, Blacksmith. Okay, that's what... Um, oh crap, we don't wanna... You know what, bud, I guess you're not a hauler. I guess you're not a hauler. Builder, Blacksmith, Militia. Okay, so... This guy is great snouted. 
which is good awareness. So you'll be our, our explorer. So, uh, explorer there, militia, Taylor. There we go. And then go like that. Cool deal, bud. All right. Now our last guy. What are we gonna do with you, fella? You are a real piece of work. Uh, I guess we can make him we could do whitesmith builder hauler, but I need someone who's actually a cook, like a by trade cook. So we're gonna make you the cook, and then. I guess make you the farmer also and a hauler. Cook, hauler. All right, cool. There we go. I'm sad because our dude is gone. Wait, did I ever assign a new I don't think I set another miner anywhere. So instead of adding you as the farmer, I'll have you be cook and miner. I guess there, bud. Sucks that we lost Kane though. Oh, wait, he's just unconscious. I get, like who is my builder right now? Where's my where's my job board? A broker. I need building. Okay, so I got two people. I got Kane, of course. And then I've got Olden, who's blacksmithing also. Gross. Uh But where are you? Hold it. Okay. Priority, high priority. All this stuff. Getting the high priority. This stuff is the highest priority to me. Okay.
We might be able to save Kane yet, and if we can do that, that is a big W. Huge, huge W. There they go, just trying to make it. Hmm. Opera there. Troll tails? Don't have any of those yet. Grievous wounds sustained. Cain Grovglans today fell unconscious. We pray the aid may reach it before the sun of its mind diminished sets uh, into the black night of death eternal. Okay. Well, we're trying, bud. We're trying. for two granite chunks that are on the way. Well. And those stairs are way less effective than these things are. Like, these things are so much faster. What the heck? So close, Odney. So close. Oh, dude. When they get to the point where they can actually get down there, it's just going to be a flood of enraged dwarf rolling on. Come on, Odney. Oh, goodness. Okay. Gotar, drop that off. Level up, level up, level up. Yes, sir. Give me those levels. Yup. Mm-hmm. Brewing blade forging. That could be very handy. I need spear making first. Then we get blade forging. Yes. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? 
Uh. Ooh. Oh, did they clear it out already? No way. Wow, they absolutely monstered that place. Okay, so tell me somebody can save this guy, right? We've got a healer here, right? Yes. Yes. My boy. Gunda. Get him. Get him, bud. You did it. Look at you. What a champ. What a heckin' champ. Oh, can you believe it, though? Freaking Kane saved, man. Kane saved. 11 out of 10 saved. Amazing. What an absolute boss. We don't have brewing yet. We should probably acquire that soon. Need beekeeping. Okay. We do so much damage now with our swords and things that uh, the enemies don't even have a chance. Oh, you guys are in a massive need of blocks and stuff. Allow me to... Oh, yes. Yep, you too. You guys be needing those blocks as well. Don't worry, we're coming. Give you all this grandfather's garbage. We don't need that. <laughs> Excellent. We did it up nice there. Getting that sweet, sweet trade XP. <laughs> One gold, 18 silver. Oh, well, where are you guys at? Over to here. Look at you. What do you have? Brave poppies. You want beams and blocks of granite. I can do that. Ooh. 
I just want my boar bacon. Oh, you also happen to want a bunch of granite pillows. Fantastic. And strange fish and all sorts of other good things. Yeah. We're not quite neutral, but we're also not quite allied with anyone. And I say not quite neutral, mainly because we have this close ally here. Or ally-ish individual. Treasure hoard. Oh, do I have some of that out here? No, but I got rat hide coming out of my ears. Okay. Uh, storage, 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 storage. Should probably make more storage somewhere. There's no way that this works, right? Even if it did, it doesn't matter. It's still much better to just build scaffolding. mission. The boy is... Oh my gosh. Look at him go. Look at him go! What a dude. Believe it? this thing let's get all this stuff out of here probably put in um gloom wheat there and then we'll put our citadel mushroom on the bottom there Bye-bye. Scum. Oh, we have braziers now. With fuel and so on. Interesting. Okay. 
So we have gloom wheat there, mountain barley here. And then if all goes well, we'll be able to continue to like expand that across and do it how we want to. Because we want to grow Tom Cap for the rest of Eh, we'll see what we can do. God of the Forge. God of the Forge is located at a terrible depth in the mountain. Its presence felt only dimly here. Near the entrance to the sunlit world, we must surely sink our mine shafts deep into the boundless rock to locate it. Dig. Delve ever deeper. Right. <laughs> Whatever you say. Um. Yes. Where's all of our people then? Out running about doing things. Oh, picking stuff up from over here. That's good. I like some of that. What is Kane doing? Oh, we can get a little camera lock. Look at that. Where are you off to, Kane? What are you doing? Well, they weren't under attack long. Wow, look at that. We really threw, to threw together some gloom wheat. Did we not? Yeah. Oh. We have some extra business there. Almost an entire row of gloom wheat. Dang. Okay. Well. Let's see. Stray spores of gloom wheat can often be found caught in the lichen. Growing in most subterranean areas. Oh, okay. And then with this, we now have hard tack, which can be kept. Bloom flower, which can be kept. Excellent. biome discovered. Where? Oh, did we? We did. We broke into this. Here. 
deeper into the Verdant Grotto. Okay. Okay, okay. Like playing Terraria. Acquired resources, 25 fecundity. How exactly does this work? And pump draws fluids from fluid bodies in the world and render them in a form useful for crafting. The pump draws fluids from all tiles in its footprint indicated with a drop. And then this pumps the fluid units back into the thing. Okay, I think I understand now. soil going in here put a couple more in up here do, do, do. there delightful I just mine all that out good to go all right very good Dude, Ingalil is such a frickin' destroyer. What the heck, man? Oh my gosh. Piercing damage, 111. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Sure. New biome discovered. Jackpot mine? What the heck's a jackpot mine? Hundred and fifty supply. Reward one spoils of the mountain. Uh Yeah, bud. Uh dire tunnels here? Is what that is? Yeah, she, yeah. Dire tunnels. Well, geez, Kane, what'd you go all the way over there for, bud? Oh, apparently you can just go through there. Oh, oh, silver, silver. Wish there was like a rummage or an interact button that you could just, I guess you can, uh, I guess you can just right click things. Works well enough, gets the job done.
So... Oh boy. Is it that Favrelove is over there way out of his depth? Or... Hmm. <laughs> These are the questions. Ah, oh, whitesmithing. Look at that. Probing the depths. Established authority. Oh, this... Should have done this. Well-developed logistical system allows our people to carry more things where they need to go and faster. Okay. Well, such is. My god, look at how just absolutely gigantic this map is. Like, this is... This cornerstone. Which, I don't even know if I just can't mine that or what, but... Dang. We have not enough supply. I don't know what supply is. Specifically, but, you know. The heck are you? Oh, Mushroom Warrior. You have your own warrior. Enjoy getting deleted. Fools. Landscaping. Ornamental block. So deep hops. Boom lilac. Structure, we can do braziers, we have hammer traps, and spike traps now. Alright, so we have the medium vault, which we can now craft. over here. Just like so. Man, once you start getting a big place, it's really hard to keep dwarves in. The achievement Snow White. <laughs> okay, bud. Alright, what are you good at? More so, what do I want you to be good at? Jotun bellied. Okay, so he's a food man. Midas touch. Okay, so he's really good at crafting. And then outlaw. Uh, let's make you the tailor. For sure, bud. Um, Taylor. Uh, hauler. Why not? And then... I guess let's send you as an explorer as well. Oh, so, Waller, Taylor, Explorer. Delightful. You there, Steena. Um, yeah, sure, bud, you can be a blacksmith, miner. 
and a militia. We'll just, we'll make you very stereotypical. Fine. All right. Miner. Militia. Smith. Delightful. Um... Glorious beard. I mean, with that amount of wisdom, clearly the Arcanist is the way. Uh, you know what? Let's not holler you, and let's go militia. Uh, I guess I could allow you to be a hauler, but you're really just going to be focused on healer, militia, and arcanist. Excellent. Absolutely delightful. How you coming there, Ursa? I'm close, girl. So now, should it be possible for her to get all of that experience and get all those levels and all that stuff? She should eventually get everything. You, are you okay, bud? You good? Let's move that up there. see what the world around us is doing. Oh. You guys need blocks of granite and granite pillars. Well, you guys can get that. You guys can have our granite pillars. Or blocks of granite, I guess. Sort everything by demand. Much easier that way. Man, they really want to pay us for these. some woodcutter stuff that's like gold and a half right there we just sold them <laughs> yeah buddy you bet beams and stuff sure bud that's easy Yeah, so you only get three in any given thing, so, uh, I wonder if I could remove? Allow automatic selling. How do I?
But how do I establish ultimate? Wow, they wanted that real bad for a second there. Yeah. Okay. Really good sword. Oh, hello there. Oh, so it appears that you are uh, in need of some blocks. Here, have some blocks. Well, when I start making licorice and stuff, I'll be sure to send some your way. Until then, go suck eggs. I can sell you some wooden axes. It'll be quite all right. Excellent. Hey, we got another one. You can have everything, and you get the high priority, because you're cool. Um, you know what? I'm going to just... line up all but the last. There we go. This'll do it. Rooms. We have the white smithy, the brewery, the great hall. Yes. Gold ingot. Silver ingot. Carry on. Some more beams going. Uh, you know, you know, you know, I don't really need more beams. Honestly. They need a whole ton of those, or those. Everything pretty low. The only thing I'd like to do is keep my ingot stores up. Oh, you're up and shall come. Fiend. <laughs> yes. Uh, Stina, what are you doing? Oh, you haven't been assigned a... Yes, you, and, uh, of course, yes, you, and, uh, you. And Stina, you can also have one. Oh! <laughs> well. Pardon me for being an idiot. All right, good job, Stina. <laughs> You're doing it. Whoops. Well, <clears throat> that's happening. Under attack. We seem to have handled it rather um, handily. So. Nothing to worry about there. <laughs> Again? No. 
was a joke. Haha. <laughs> Funny. Alright, infrastructure. Let's get a uh, brick wall door here. Are we? Um, let's get this. Something like that. And we'll add our brick wall door here. And our bricks going up. Look at how much how much storage we're using. Good golly. Uh, I guess let's just You're such a bum. There's so much going on right now. Yeah, so much. So much to do. Every every time I think I've got it uh, going all the right ways. Jokes on me. Back to the grand pillars, eh? Well, here you go. I don't know what... So is that... Is that a yes or is that a no? Ooh! Epic curved butcher's copper hawk axe. Combat production 17, cooking production 9.75. With a 4.15 restored might. What is restores might? I'm curious what that means. Oh well. Enjoy 
they're being destroyed. Brave puppy. Eat pops. Some kind of lilac thing up there. Let's get some of that going too. Um, then we're gonna put the uh, the wood trees down here. I need to acquire tomb lilac and deep hops. Anyone have? Ah, you have deep hops. Uh, I want your deep hops. Thank you. Anyone? Tomb lilac? Anyone? Anyone? Hello? Tomb lilac? No? <clears throat> well, I tried. Looks like I'll have to acquire it myself. Alright, who offers up a tomb? Show me your tomb. I need its lilac. Not a chance. Not a chance. You're dreaming. You're dreaming. You think for one second that I'm going to do the thing that you're wanting me to do. You are confused. Forty-eight. Interesting. Such extreme skill. Outstanding, honestly. Small scaffolding. This. Wait, how? That man just double jump. I swear he just double jumped. Oh, ooh, gold. Well, don't mind if I do. Let's see if there's any other precious. Hopper. Ooh, frozen waste. Delightful. Dig me in, fellows. Yes, yes, we certainly are always under attack. be fine. The best way to go is just continuing down. We'll just keep doing that. Keep rolling on the downward trend, friends. 
Yeah, these kind of games just get me. I get lost in them. I love pushing my way through these things and just having having a blast. So that man's crawling around in this watery section. Oh, it's because of that. Oh, tormented something. Oh, tormented soil. No, not a, <laughs> not a hand pump. Thank you. Quite all right without one of those. All well and good. Did I, did I miss one? I did. <laughs> Very good. Oh. oh. Oh, yes, the deep hops. We just don't have the, the tomb lilac. Sigvid. What is this? Farms require a certain amount of fecundity to produce goods. Fecundity restores over time, but can also be restored using fertilizer. Okay. Oh, I'm being attacked. Hang on. Excellent. Oh, honey. Heckin' bunch, man. What is that all about? Storming of the rats. Finally got that clear. What? <laughs> Keep a random banner and a couple of dead guys in the wall there? Okay. It's strange, but you know, to each their own. Ooh, algae grass. That means that I can here. And do what I had intended to. Do a lot of this out. Um, you know that that should be okay. job, Steven. So 
if I were to do... be along like that that I wanted to do it. And then I could cut this. I wonder if it will displace the water back up. Very good. Now, Kane, come and finish this for me, shall you? Hmm. Uh, you know, let's get, uh... Dear me, that is... That is quite the bridge. Uh, I don't think I need all that. You know? Something simple. Oh, that's what that's for. Uh huh. Um, all right, so we do this so that the Water passes through? Yeah. Hey, another new discovery. Ah, granite pillars. There you go. Oh, we're already supplying them. Are we still trying to sell them some old pillars we've had for a while? Well, now that we have algae pancakes... Much we can do, friends, much we can do. And decoration for East Treaties and such. Oi! Filthy vermin. Get out of my weird little hybrid fishing spot slash underwater farm. You monster! Hey, there we go, mead! Water, honey, and grain.
Alright, let's get the honey up here as well. We should already have grain. Do not have grain stored? Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah, we've got plenty. Then again, um, do we make... Is there a thing to make? I don't think there is. Uh, I don't have the mortar or anything. I don't know how to make that. Clasp. Hey, support beams. Definitely need those. Whitesmith's hammer. Excellent. I wish we could kind of move this up faster. Oh well. I at least have a button to push. Support beam. Support beam? Support beam. Excellent. Uh, metal sheets. Ah, yes. Five there. Good. And then we need what else? Metal sheets. Fuel and lumber. I do have woodworking, yes. Mm hmm. And I can turn it to lumber, yes. Is there something I've forgotten? Gracious. Nothing that they need. Do we have a trader? Oh, yes, this one. Ignalil, what are you doing? You have the job of trading, but are not doing it. Why? Bit odd that they have chosen not to raid. Huh. 
Okay. I'm very confused. Oh, that restores 10 fortification. And that restores 5. So these people need 27. And you need an equal measure. Okay. A uh, hammer trap, eh? They're gonna destroy everything over here. What the heck? What's with this horde of rats, dude? Heckin' scum? How dare they? Wait, that's my door. You went and destroyed your monsters? Okay. Making moves here, friends. Making moves. We now have a semi steady uh, flow of mead and such. Oh, look at this. Ah, that's how we get mortar. Uh, we'll set these to the same 40 as usual. Put that to 10. Excellent. What's our storage in this one? 240. Good lord. Getting close with the uh, the beams here. Almost got our medium vault. Excellent, excellent. Uh, and then we're getting close to our our large foundry. Interesting.
Hit him, Ursa. Jeez. Gosh dang monster. Just absolutely decimated the majority of that army. Spicy. People are not selling anything. I don't like it. They can only do what they can do. You're just gonna have to calm down, game. Okay? Calm down. Fine. You'll live. I think if I were to play this again, I would have a much more organized setup, and I would have built, like, different mine shafts at different points, etc., and kind of closed my facility off a little more. Tried to kind of dominate a singular cavern, and then move outwards from there. Jeez, 500 gold maximum. Dude, I can't even get the 5 gold. Thirty-five mountain lore and seventeen trade lore. Look at us! Oh my gosh! Look at how, look at how much there is. Myth of the Horde. What's this? Large vault, Star of Mara, and the Explorer's Lantern. I see. Armored ring soldier's armor. Geological surveys. What's this do? Minor knowledge. So rhyme beats. We're performing a land survey, we can increase our understanding of the mountain. Okay. Skulker's armor. Huh? Expanded plantages. Giant cinnamon yeast. Cogborn transmission. Cog drill, a large stationary mechanized drill capable of gnawing through rock and excavating ore with terrifying efficiency. Okay. Smithy railway. Railway lines form paths along which carts can move between two railway stations. Long railway, incline railway. Machinery sounds good. Hand car, cart, elevator rail, long rail station, track section. I like that. I like machinery. That sounds delightful. 
But... Now we're running low on a few things here. But we're gonna have a, a tough time. Ah, uh, yes, track section. Goose. Gets and slabs, eh? Tough. Very tough. Did we already add the hewing spearhead? Interesting. There's so much I'm curious about, like if, if specializing people would be better so that all they ever did was the one thing. Try and get like two or three specialists to any given deal. Got some tomb lilac. Delightful. Well, friends, I think that's about enough of this for one day. Um, that is. It's quite a bit of progress we've made. All in this, uh, this first attempt here. Uh, I'm sure, like, I can already see where there's, there's more optimizations that could be made. I'm planning ahead for having a farm and a few other things. Uh, would be supremely helpful. Um. Additionally, just having better planning so that it's not quite so, uh, haphazard would be... Fantastic, but uh, that's not what we did, and so it's a little bit chaotic as of now, but such is. Uh, we'll save to, uh, we'll call this Tink Tink. Now, we'll, is there a way to go back to the main menu? Interesting. So you can only exit to desktop. You cannot. You cannot. Uh, think. I'm curious what the multiplayer is like. Don't worry about me. I'm easily distracted. Anywho, um, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this experience of Hammer Team. We'll uh, we'll be coming back for more in the future. But. Uh, as I said, for now it is time to go. So, until the next one, my friends, take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and keep moving forward. I'll see you there.